This video doesn't need to be a long one. We're talking about the LA Kings because they have signed defenseman Vladislav Gavrikov to a two-year extension at $5.875 million a year. Now this is sort of the domino effect of a number of things. Yesterday, we saw the Kings free up a bunch of cap space by trading away Sean Walker, who didn't really have a solidified spot in the lineup anyway, and Cal Peterson at $5 million AAV in the three-way swap with the Blue Jackets and the Flyers. This was a pretty good move from the LA perspective because it freed up money to do moves like this. Vladislav Gavrikov was recently acquired from the Columbus Blue Jackets and he only played in LA for a little bit. Obviously, these trade deadline rentals, etc., etc., you're not going to see a huge sample size from these players, but in the limited sample that Gavrikov had with the Kings, he was really good. Like, very good. More than solid as a guy who solidified things on the left defenseman side for LA. He had nine points in 20 games played, and realistically, this is a guy that at 27 years old, is getting pretty fair value for the sample size that he had. Two years, it's tough to overpay somebody in two years, but the real philosophy, I feel as well, behind this contract structure is that you got yourselves a cap that is supposed to go up in about two years. Right now, you're seeing a little bit of decision-making from these players that need new contracts saying, hey, do I want to sign long-term right now, or do I want to sign short-term and get a bigger payday in 20... 25, for example, because the cap is supposed to be going up by then. And Gavrikov, if he goes out there and plays the way he has in LA for the next two seasons in the same way that he played the first month, then this is a guy who could be really working for that bigger payday in 2025 when this current deal expires. 5.875 is a pretty decent amount for a guy that was already coming in here and doing as well as he did. But this really is a setup move for the future, both from the LA Kings perspective and from Gavrikov's himself. This is a pretty good move, all things considered. It's a good win-win scenario. Win-win-win, I guess you could say. Win for the team, win for the player, win for the agent, win for the team because you're getting yourselves an actually good player to come back. You're not just trading away all those things at the deadline to get somebody who'll only stick around for a month. Win for the player because he gets the prove-it deal. He gets the opportunity to play well for the next two seasons and get even more money. And then win for the agent because, hey, the guy's gonna get more money. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your opinions? about the LA Kings making this signing. How do you think this all plays off of the Walker and Cal Peterson trade? I think it's a very direct result as to that trade that happened yesterday. But right now, the LA Kings, they're looking like pretty good winners in the past 24 hours because of the trade and then the signing as well. They got what they needed to get done, done. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.